hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is Aisha from bags of style so in today's video I wanted to go over my 2023 wish list um, bags that I'm eyeing that I, I want to add to my collection anyway if you guys like anything that's bag related this is the channel for you please do not forget to like comment subscribe join the family we have so much fun over here and to my returning subscribers thank you guys so 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 much for the continuing support and let's get into this video okay guys so as i stated i wanted to do my 2023 wish list um i'm usually not the type of person to actually do a wish list because um i usually just buy bags that inspire me if i like the style if i like the design so i don't really do wish lists but i thought it would be fun to um kind of go over 10 bags that i would consider adding on a wish list if it was what it was but most likely I might not even stick to it. So kind of keep that in mind because I might add stuff that are not on this list or I might add stuff that are on this list. But these are the bags that have actually caught my attention. So let's get into these bags. So the very first one that really caught my attention is the Lueve puzzle bag. I'm looking at adding it in the small or maybe in the mini. I'm not exactly sure yet which one I want. Um, and just keep in mind, many of these bags I am going to buy pre love because the retail price are ridiculous, okay? So, like I stated, the Loewe puzzle bag in the size small or in the size mini, um, I really wanted it in like the brown color or maybe in the sand slash kind of gray color. So, I'll put the picture so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So, I'm super excited about that. I just think this bag is so unique. Um, it looks so good. Like, really, it's, it's one of those bags that can't really do catch my attention just because of the design and the letter and everybody all the reviews that i've seen everybody that actually have this bag really love 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 this bag so i just feel like it's time to add it to my collection anyway let's move on so the second bag that i'm looking to add into my collection is the christian dior the lady dior um i'm looking at either the mini or the small or maybe the medium i know i don't want the large because i feel like the large is too huge but the mini to the medium i feel like it's a great size um that bag literally if you buy a brand it's like 5300 and um just to kind of keep in mind the low wave is like 3150 if you buy retail okay anyway i love the lady do i just think it's just so classy it's just it's everything in a bag that i love and i really 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 want to add it to my collection um so i really cannot wait and i'm looking at it in like maybe like a, a dusty pink with this picture that's showing up that color or maybe kind of like a tan color but um i don't want a black or anything i want it kind of like in a different color so if i'm gonna keep it safe it'll probably be like the brown um if i want to kind of be a little bit playful probably be the pink um the antique pink i think that's what they call it anyway guys let's move to the next bag so the third bag that i'm looking at um as you guys saw my new year First unboxing on the channel, I did get the vintage Chanel double flap in the lambskin, but my actual really, really dream Chanel bag is the Chanel um, double flap, but in the medium with the Cavalier um, leather. Um, I do want that in the black with the gold hardware. I just think it's so, so beautiful, but that bag is like 8800 <laughs> but um, I know Fashion Fire usually have a great deal, and I probably might either get it maybe also from Bagriculture, depending on how um, the type of deal that I can get on the bag. But I do love, love the Chanel, the medium classic flap with the gold hardware with the with the Cavalier leather. I just think it's so, 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 so beautiful, guys. So that bag right there, I'm really, really considering adding in to my collection, either during my birthday month or something. Um, it probably might be a gift that I either give myself or ask my husband for it. So that's the, the third bag. Let's get to the fourth bag. So the fourth bag is actually the Gucci Diana bag. Oh my God. Guys, I've been eyeing this bag from Gucci. I just think it's so classy. Obviously, too cool they name it after princess diana like you cannot beat that i love the bamboo handle i love the leather uh, um coloration i'm not sure exactly what color i want to get in this bag or what size exactly but i i do want to go into the gucci store and actually try the bag on and see what size i want and um which one would look good on me but i definitely want to add the gucci diana to my collection then 
Let's get to the next bag. So the next bag that I'm thinking about is the Fendi Baguette. Yes, guys. I've been eyeing the Fendi Baguette, but I don't know if I want to get it in the cloth canvas or if I want to get it in the leather. Um, it looks like I'm more gravitating more to the leather than it is the, the canvas, but I think both of them are so beautiful. Um, I just love the design of it. I just think it's so classy. It's a statement piece. Um, I think every girl need a Fendi in their, in their collection. So the baguette, I think, is one of the bags that it's just so incredible made. Like, guys, look at the design. Like, it's just beautiful. So definitely, I definitely want to add the Fendi Baguette. I, I'm not sure the size yet, but I, I'm not, and I'm not sure if it's the, the cloth canvas or if I want to add it in the leather, but I do definitely want to add a Fendi Baguette to my collection. Now let's get to the next bag. So the sixth bag, guys, I just talked about the medium, is the Chanel double flap in the jumbo size. But with the jumbo, I'm really leaning towards getting it black with silver hardware. You guys, if you guys have been around my channel, you know I'm a gold girl. I really don't have too much of a silver hardware piece, but I just think it's so beautiful in with the silver hardware with the big size. So I'm looking at adding the Chanel double flap jumbo, but with the silver hardware with the Cavalier leather to my collection. I just think it would just it's, it's beautiful. Anybody. I mean, the prices are ridiculous. Don't get me wrong for Chanel right now. But I just feel like that bag is such a classy bag. And I just love classy bag. I just, it's, it's just a statement piece, guys. So definitely want to add that beauty to my collection, the Chanel, the, um, the Chanel um, in jumbo with the double flap and the silver hardware. All right, guys, let's get to the seventh bag. Okay, so my seventh bag is actually the Christian Dior, the saddle bag. I know. This was one of the bags, honestly, I didn't think I like, but after seeing it and just, just looking at reviews, I just love the shape of it. One thing about me is that I love unique bag. I love bag that make a statement. And I know the saddle bag is a bag that come in and out of, um, of style or, or as they call it, it comes in and out. It's one day a hit, hit bag, next day it's not a hit bag. But honestly, I don't care about it. I just love the design of it. I love the CD on the side of the handle. I love how it's shaped. I love the the just the the D hanging out with. Oh, I love this bag, guys. But like I stated, even with this one, I don't know the size. I think it's one size, but I'm not exactly sure. But I don't know exactly what size or color. If I want it in the leather, if I want it in the uh, cloth canvas um material but i definitely want to add a christian dior saddle bag to my collection all right guys let's get to the eighth bag so my eighth bag is actually a fendi first yes guys i know it's not as popular as what it used to be but if you guys been around my channel you know i don't buy bags based on popularity i buy it because i love the style of it or the color or the design um the Fendi first I just think it's a beautiful bag I think Fendi really hit it out the park when they created that bag because it's so unique like look at the f on the handle like and then it comes with a crossbody strap too if you want to wear that or you can use it as a clutch I just love how creative this bag is honestly speaking I don't know what color I want to get I know I want to get a neutral I don't want to get a black though I want to get like a different color and they do have different styles and everything in this bag so i am definitely definitely eyeing this bag like i definitely want to add the fendi first to my collection and my ninth bag so guys i'm not sure if this is going to be a surprise so it's another fendi bag but this one is actually the fendi moonlight shoulder bag guys i think i saw it on the Chick Maven, I think that's her channel, and she has styled this bag, but in the brown material, brown leather, oh my God, with the side, it's such a perfect crossbody, but every time she styled it, like, every time I watch her channel, I fell in love with this bag over and over and over and over again. I definitely want to add this bag. Guys, look at it. Look how creative it is. Look at the side. Just This bag is just chef kiss. Like, I definitely want to add the Fendi Moonlight shoulder bag to my collection. I think it's a bag that I will utilize a lot because I do love like crossbody bags, shoulder bag, and things like that. So I definitely want to add the Fendi Moonlight shoulder bag to my collection. And guys, the very, very, very last bag is the Valentino Woman Stud. Valentino Woman Stud. I don't know why I like this bag. Like, I'm not really a study type of girl. 
Um, but I feel like this bag is like so edgy. Um, so, and I love that the studs are bigger. I don't really care about the other um, studs, which are the smaller ones. But I think the Valentino, the Roman stud, the big stud, it just looks so beautiful on the bag. I don't know the color yet that I want to get. But I just think it's so unique. It's so well made that I definitely, definitely, definitely want to add it to my collection. So, guys. Those are the, these are the top 10 bags that I'm actually looking at, adding to my collection in 2023. I'm not sure. I think 2023 might be a low buy year for me, but I'm not sure yet. You know, uh, we can say that we can make a, and say, oh, it might be a low buy and then something come out. You know, these fashion houses, these luxury houses, they always bring designs that you'd be like, oh my God, I need this in my collection. But I wanted to do an honorable mention. Um, as you guys notice, Louis, 2022 was Louis Vuitton's year in my collection. Like, I think I purchased so much Louis Vuitton that I want to kind of slow down a little bit with Louis Vuitton. That's why you see it's not on my top 10. But the bag that I'm eyeing currently at Louis Vuitton is the Louis Vuitton side trunk. I think that bag is so beautiful, so well made. I'm not sure if it's still going to be in stock by the time I want it. But yeah, for 3800 guys, I literally almost bought it in 2022 like honestly speaking I literally I went to the boutique I tried it on and it was just so beautiful it was so classy and I had to stop myself and say I don't really need the bag so that's why I didn't really buy it but I think honestly I'm not sure it might be I might get in 2023 um as an honorable mention so I don't know and then the very last one is the coach bandit so um, I know in the Chinese calendar or something, this is the year of the um, rabbit. So it's like the pink. So culture has been coming out with a lot of pretty pink with the rabbit design. But there's one and they have, Coach have one with the pink, but then it has like the canvas. I don't like that. I love the one. It's in, um, let me put the, I'm putting the picture up right now. This one, I just think it's so beautiful. That pink with that silver hardware. I love this bag and I think I probably might either get it from Saks um, instead of Nina Marcus. I'm sorry because Saks wrap their, their bags really good. <laughs> but I might get that bag. I think that's the only coach bag that has really like got me excited. Um, lately, I haven't really been liking the coach bag that are coming out. I don't know why, guys. Um, you guys know I'm a coach at heart. Like I love coach bags. But I, I really haven't really seen one that i'm like oh my god this is the bag for me so um i just want to but this one right there i think that one would definitely be part of my collection that pink and that silver oh my god chef kiss guys that bag is so beautiful anyway those are the um the bags that are on my so-called 2023 wish list i'm not sure if i'm gonna stick to it like i said i don't really create a wish list i didn't make one in 2022 because i usually just buy bags based on inspiration if i like it and i have the funding i will buy it so i don't know if i'm gonna stick to these but these bags are really intentional bags that i i really do want to add to my collection but anyway guys so this is the video for today i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful rest of your day